from a gravesite at the Fort Sam Houston National Cemetery. When Karen Wagner graduated in 1979, she left Judson High School with many distinguished awards. To the classrooms of Wagner High School, the memory, the tributes, the celebration of the school's namesake, Lieutenant Colonel Karen Wagner, carried with it a message. That inspires me tremendously because it shows me that I should be as strong as her. Each year on September 11th, the student body at Wagner High sit through a presentation like this. They learn how the soldier lived and died. Lieutenant Colonel Wagner was at her desk at the Pentagon when one of the planes hit. She was trying to find a route out, but when she went to the door, it was fully engulfed in flames and the jet fuel exploded four feet away from her desk. But on the way trying to find another exit route, she fell silently. But her story does not fall on deaf ears. I feel like in order to represent her and her name as well as her family that's still around, I feel like I should continue to pursue my career and pursue my education and strive to be the best I can. Many of the students in this classroom say they don't remember the attacks, but they do tell me they have been inspired by this soldier's life. Now, uh, being older, I got a better feel of what ex exactly happened. And you kind of feel hurt for the um, for the families that lost loved ones, but you also feel a lot of respect to the ones that lost their lives and the ones that tried to help others. It's horrible. It's, it's awful how somebody can do that to other people. But for these young people, what has now become a day of celebrating life seems to be having a powerful effect. Live each day like there was no, there's no tomorrow because you never know when tomorrow will ever be taken. Silver and Fox News at 9.